on who's been watching this video knows there are substantial scientific evidence that coffee is incredibly good for your health and extends your life. Today's video will discuss the best time of day to drink coffee according to science. Before you watch this video, please take a moment to subscribe our YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button, then tap the bell icon. So you will be the first to know when he posts new videos daily. According to a meta analysis of 127 studies, drinking coffee reduces your risk of cancer up to 20%, reduces your risk of heart disease by 5%, reduces your risk of type 2 diabetes by 30%, and reduces your risk of Parkinson's disease by 30%. Coffee accomplishes this by flooding your body with natural antioxidants, repairing your DNA, claiming stress-related inflammation, and improving the efficiency of the enzymes that regulate insulin and glucose. Not surprisingly, coffee drinkers on average live longer than those who don't drink coffee. That say drinking your coffee at the same time on the day can increase or reduce its benefits or even turn it into a health risk. According to research in Chronopharmacology, a branch of neuroscience that studies how drugs work with people's natural biological rhythm. I'm going to get a bit technical here but bear with me. There's a part of your brain called the suprachiasmatic nucleus that controls your cortical, which when present makes you feel alert and when absent makes you feel sleepy just like caffeine. The SC and religious cortisol according to your circadian rhythm. A 24-hour cycle that's slightly different for everyone. Early bird and night owl, for example, have Circadian rhythms that are offset from each other by about 12 hours. According to neuroscientist Devin L. Miller, a postdoctoral research fellow at the Jessel School of Medicines at Dartmouth, drinking coffee when your FCN is already releasing plenty of cortisol limits its positive effects because you are already wet up. In other words, coffee plus cortisol is equal to extra stress, which is bad for your health. By contrast, if you drink coffee when your cortisol levels are low, it smooths out your mood and energy levels so that you can get more done without getting a cheater. For the average person, cortisol level picks at 8 to 9 am, noon to 1 pm, and 5.30 to 6.30 pm. For a yearly bot, you adjust those numbers back about 3 hours. For night owl, you adjust those numbers forward by about 3 hours. So given that cycle, what's the best time to drink your first cup of coffee? Well, because cortisol levels start rising the moment you get out of bed. If you drink your first cup of coffee at breakfast or while commuting, you are not getting the full benefit and maybe creating unnecessary stress. Similarly, if you are holding out until lunch for your first cup, you will be drinking it when your cortisol levels are high, thereby limiting its effectiveness. Even though your cortisol does in the afternoon, drinking coffee then isn't a great idea because according to weight and the caffeine remains in your system for up to 12 hours and can create insomnia, a huge source of stress and a mental health hazard. Same for drinking coffee in the evening. Thus, by the process of elimination, the best time for the average person to drink caffeinated coffee is between 9.30 and 11.30 a.m. Furthermore, as I have explained previously, to get the full benefit to coffee, you should drink between 4 and 6 cups of coffee during that 2 hours window. What do you think of this important information? Let me know in our comment section below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share with your friends. For more daily tips, subscribe to our channel below. Thank you.